welcome to another video let's solve this radical problem and which is a trap but let's see how to beat away with this trap so by adding all this together it becomes 3 um, root x equals 2 so while all these things so we have root x multiplying root x multiplying root x so the whole of this thing so let's see the first method so i'm going to come with the second method so everything here becomes x root um root x so how uh, did i arrive at this x root x so let's say we are considering this you know this is x to the power of one over two dot x to the power of one over two dot x to the power of one over two and the whole of this thing is uh, it becomes x raised to the power of 3 divided by 2. But this x raised to the power of 3 divided by 2 is still the same thing as um by is the same thing as x root x, but let's see. So we can call this one x raised to the power 1, and this is x raised to the power of 1 over 2. So we're applying the product law of indices. So I'm going to get x raised to the power of 3 over 2, so which is the same thing as x root x. Alright, so by transferring x root x here, we have 3 root x minus x root x equal to 0. And root x is common, so by taking out root x, so we are going to have bracket 3 minus x, this equal to 0. And from the quadratic rules, so we are going to let root x equal to 0, or we let 3 minus uh, root x equal to 0. So here, uh, we have x equal to 0 here and let's say root of 0 and which is still 0 so even plus or minus everything still becomes 0 so while for this side we have 3 uh, root root x equals to uh, equals to 3 but wait is it truly root x no so we are given only x so but what i'm going to do here is just to try to avoid or uh, uh, to rub the the page so I'm going to let this one become root 3. So this is root 3. So if these two cancel, so I'm still coming back to the same thing, which is um, x equals to 3. So I'm really sorry. Then if this is the second method, so which means we have to really root x equals to 0 or x equals to 3. And for the second method, so if you have, uh, the question says the root of x plus root x plus root x equal to root x dot root x dot root x and we know for this side it's still the same thing as 3 root x why for the other side so just like we are multiplying a in three times so multiplying this in three times it becomes root x always to power of 3 and by transferring root x always to power 3 so we take it to this left hand side so we have 3 root x minus root x uh, bracket all raised to the power of 3 equal to 0. So if you take out 1 root x, so the bracket becomes 3 minus root x uh, all raised to the power of 2, then equal to 0. So root x equals to 0 or 3 minus root x all raised to the power of 2 equal to 0. So this is what we are going to have for this. And at this side, we have. Um, if these two cancel each other, then for this we have x equal to 0 and the other side is 3 minus x equal to 0. So uh, we have I got in x equals to 3 as we got above. And this is how to solve this problem in two different ways. But if there's another way of doing this, you can drop it into the comment box. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I will see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye bye.